Okay, so what I want to do today is demo for you the use of the swivel camera and what it is is a motorized camera assistant is how they advertise it and you wear uh, this thing around your neck and the camera tracks what you are doing. So I'm recording this today using uh, the blue microphone which you can't see, it's out of shot, on my C920 uh, Logitech webcam and I'm in my kitchen uh, very deliberately because one of the really good uses for um, a tracking camera is when you want to demonstrate something and you need um, a, a field of view that will move with you and you don't always have somebody with you. So I thought I'd demo that, um, not using a science demonstration the way I'd use it at school, but using a cooking demonstration because I'm at home and that's one of the things I like doing. So what I thought I'd do is um, show you really quickly how to make a bread roll um, and because it's a technique that um, I like to do and, and I'm making some bread rolls today. So um, just to prove that the camera does track, you can see it's, it's come with me. So I'm just firstly, um, I'm just going to flower up my bench uh, because you need to have a fair bit of flour on the bench when you're doing this. And I've got some dough that I made earlier. I just used the bread machine um, to actually mix up my dough because it's got a lovely temperature sensor in it. Um, it, does, it makes a beautiful dough. I just use it on the, um, the uh, pizza dough setting. And I'm just going to dump that, bit, that onto the bench. And you see it's, a, it's quite a loose dough uh, for bread rolls. I find that if you've got a, a nice wet uh, dough, it does a really good job of it. And what I do is um, I cut up all of my rolls to start with, just the amount. So you notice I'm being really careful with my fingers. And what I'm going to do is just cut it into its portions very, very quickly. Um, this batch is 500 grams of flour. It's got six grams of yeast, six grams of bread improver, six grams of salt, and six grams of sugar, uh, 20 grams of um, uh, canola oil, and then it's got um, 310 grams of water, and that's it. So let's get to forming some of these um, bread rolls. So once you've got a lump of dough, you notice I didn't knead it again. Um, it's just ready to go. Um, what I do is there's a number of ways you can make them. The way I love to make them is if you actually just get the, the dough and you just roll it inside itself. So you're folding inside itself, just keep the top floured. Um, and what happens is as you keep folding the dough round and round inside, um, you end up with this beautiful round roll the seams all on the bottom, like that, and then that is ready to go into there. And we'll do the next one. And you see you can do it a fair bit quicker. Hope you can see how I'm doing that, folding it all in. You end up with these lovely little rolls. I'll do this one. And see they just fold inside themselves like that and you can imagine I'll do the other three quite easily um, and that's pretty much it so you can see how the camera is tracking wherever I go within the kitchen um, and you can see what way that that's actually working uh, the final trick that I'll show you um, I probably shouldn't do it with fairy hands but I'm going to do it anyway um, on this there's also a button uh, that I can press and I can tilt the camera up and down. So if I do this, the camera should tilt down. Um, and if I move it up here, I can tilt the camera up and you can look at my ceiling, uh, which probably isn't gonna be that fantastic. So let's tilt it back down to roughly where I think it should be. And that's it. Uh, so that's a quick demonstration of the swivel camera, um, obviously in my kitchen, but uh, in a science lab or in anything else, it's obviously a really good thing. Um, and if you want to do classroom observations, absolutely brilliant. You just wear this around your neck and the camera will track wherever you go. You can even point at things and, and make it actually move and look at various things yourself just using the tracker. Um, as a final note, this is the Swivel Generation 1. There is a brand new one out at the moment, um, which is looks like it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I wish I could get my hands on one. I can't afford one right now, uh, but I know it has very similar features, but it deals with a lot better uh, with audio and all those sorts of things. There you go, that's the Swivel.